WHCJ 90.3 FM, man, the hottest thing up and going in the seaport right now. Overgrinding the building. Big Phil standing in front of me. What's up, dog? What's that in the home? Chilling, man. What's like up? I, I was I was sitting here before the interview started, like writing normally when I inter- do interviews, I write notes down and take things, get talking points ready to go. Right. But Phil like this is like your second home. You don't been in here like three, four times. So it, I, I, I had to scrap all that, throw all that to the side. Right. And just man. said, we just go in here and do our thing. That's what's up, man. I'm moving my little personal little refrigerator over here, too. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. As <laughs> long as you bring enough food for me. That's what's well, up. Everybody man. eating, we good. <laughs> <laughs> and last time you were in here, it was so long ago, you did your interview with DJ Player. Yeah, what's up, Player? So shout out to my dog, Player, man. I. Y'all don't know, like, player like my little, like my sickening little brother. Like, player <laughs> called me up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and people that player deal with now yeah. knew me from way back in the day. Yeah. So they got old pictures of me. Now, I'm going to tell you how old the pictures are. <laughs> Players got pictures of me standing around in guard at home. No. Goofing around. Right. Playing around, you know what I'm saying? Now, how long guard at home has been gone? Whew, what about a good 12? Yeah. So player got pictures that old. Going to call and talk about, I'm going to blackmail you with these pieces. With these pictures, like, go ahead, dog. Well, what was I ten? That's, that's playing for you, boy. That's playing for you. I'm a black man. You with these pictures? And playing like my sickly little brother. Uh, but I love that. I love my dog to death. Anyway, sure. last time you was in here, DJ played the interview. So we talk about right. like last March. Last year, March, man, we did it real big, man. Five days of film. And I shut the city down, man, for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? We came in here, kicked it, and turned up with the fam or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Gave out a little money, did a little whatnot, so whatever, man. So, you know, that's how it went. It went down. For so, sure. So, tell me, since then, mm-hmm. since the takeover on Friday the 5th, mm-hmm. what's been going on in your world? Ooh, a lot of networking, marketing, you know, a lot of little, you know, inching out there a little further on the solo tip, you know, right. getting real major plugs that's, um, from people that's in the industry upcoming artists and things like that you know just staying down and staying focused on you know making that next big step from mm-hmm. being you know what i'm saying just from from going from being unknown to being known to the man you know what i'm saying so right. i'm really working on being the i'm working on my being the man step you feel me because that's what i want i want to take over the city you know what i'm saying and no disrespect I- to uh, under, no other artists is out there but that's just how I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm, right. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I like to go, let's go, let's go, let's turn up. You know what I'm saying? So that's my next move, man. I'm trying to be the next big thing out of Savannah, straight up. So therefore, so from when, when I first started, I ain't know nothing or nobody. Now I know, a, I can say a million people. Now I got a million more people to make, meet, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that, that, that's that's just it. Well, you got to just keep going because you don't, like in this rap thing, you don't make it overnight. Now, if somebody ever, if somebody said they woke up and walked into a million dollars, that's a lie. That's a, that's a story, and a people, bold face lie. Straight up, that's a lie, but it's a hard grind, but it take hard, dedicated people that want to work and do their job, not your job, but their job. That's where it counts. You know, that, 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 and that, that's from a year's experience, man. Like, for real, you got to get out here and get it. One of the knocks, like, we both from Savannah. Right. You know what I'm saying? One of the knocks that was on Savannah for years was, man, they like crabs in the barrel, man. They don't want to see nobody succeed. They don't want to see nobody do this. They don't want to see nobody do that. But once I got up and I started doing radio mm-hmm. and I started doing other things and I got out there and started working with people like you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like other, you know, other, other artists, mm-hmm. I really found that it was my city that was really supportive. Mm-hmm. Now, I see it from a different side. Like, mm-hmm. I know... The battles that you y'all fight as artists are right. different. Like mm-hmm. y'all fight, y'all fight with DJs for radio uh, right. play, and y'all fight with DJ with club DJs to right. get get your get your music spent. Mm-hmm. So in that aspect, I can see a level of non-support coming from home. Right. But for the most part, as far as other artists and support from home and and the, and the hometown pushing you, do you do you get a lot of support from the city as a whole as an artist? Oh. Uh. Yeah, from 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 my circle, yes, but from some DJs, some club owners, like they still slow to like giving 
uh, artists from Savannah their way or what they want for a show. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So th- that's the main thing. So, you know, you could, like, some clubs, you could go in there. I'm talking about ball out. They don't even know your name. Come in there, ball out again. They might know your name. Do it again. They they might let you the door for free. But when it comes to that stage, boy, that's a whole nother story. They act like they like you ain't never came in there and spent a dime or nothing. It's hard, man. Just like no like Savannah, Georgia. Well, you got to really be coming with it, and that and that's the one thing I like about Savannah because like if you ain't coming with it, they ain't gonna mess with you. So hey, I, that, that's that's one thing I really like about Savannah because they'll let you know for real, like if. If they like you or not, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they boy, Savannah, boy, they'll put it in the street, literally. They'll throw that thing right out the window, boy. If they, if they ain't fitting it, or you, you lying about something, or they you will know literally, what I'm saying? You ain't stating no facts or nothing like that, man. Like, for real, you, get it out of here. I've thrown several you CDs out that? the window myself. <laughs> like, a lot of people that's in music right now in Savannah, whatever, they got homeboys, homegirls telling them, yeah, that's hard, that's hard, but it really ain't. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you just stick around people that's gonna speak the truth to you. You know what I'm saying? That and that's what I just surround myself with the truth, even if I'm by myself. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I have to tell myself like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, or Blase Squad. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. You gotta keep it real in Savannah. It's it, it just a business all the way around, and people and people fail to realize that. And when I say pay dues, like I'm not even talking about like a monetary payment. I'm right. talking about, I mean, you know the hustle. You know, you know sitting up writing. Getting yeah. studio time, right. get, getting your stuff burnt to a CD, and then after you get it on CD, you gotta hit the streets and get people to listen to it. Not only like, when you hold on, I mean to interrupt you like that, but when you say the streets, we not only talking about the streets of your neighborhood. You gotta bring it through the streets of Savannah, uh, Atlanta, like it, all surrounding counties, Alabama, Florida, Texas, Tennessee. That's putting it in the streets when he, when we say that. You know what I'm saying? Not only just, don't just make a song and just let it go nowhere if you feel like that song is it. Yeah. Put it out there. Uh, like, everybody ain't going to like it now. Everybody ain't going to like it. Because I done been to some out-of-town shows, long, and they were just looking like, well, who this is? As long as they doing that, they listening to it, that means they'll play it. So, But if everybody walking away from the stage, you just got to, after you perform, you got to sit down and, Hey, what can I do to make it better? How can I do this? Do I have to change it up? Or you got to find your markets, what to put yourself and your music in. Man, you done, I'm telling you, Phil, from the first interview you had in here to where you are now, yeah. you light years ahead from, from where you were when you first walked in the door. Yeah, dog. man, because like, when I first walked through the door, I just wanted to rap. I ain't even care about the check. I just wanted to be, <laughs> I just wanted to be seen. Like, hey, hey. You know, what I'm saying? I just want to be seen. I not, just want not, to rap. It's way bigger than rap. It's way bigger than all this other type of stuff, man. Cause you gotta have an image. You gotta have swag. You gotta have this, that, other, and the third. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell y'all everything, even though I gave y'all a lot just now. But the game is to be sold, not told. Straight up. 